He's a veteran actor and a star of the big screen, the small screen, and Broadway, too. Now he's making his way to the South Florida stage. Patrick Cassidy has really done it all, and <laughs> we are fortunate and uh, so happy to have him in our studios this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, and this studio is quite big and beautiful. Very nice. I think we have a relative of yours who said that once before as oh, well. Oh, he did. So well, my brother David, who lives down yep. here. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, very nice to have you here. And this is a big role for you. You're playing in She Loves Me at the Wick, but it's a big role because it's a very special role, isn't it? Yeah, it's the first role that my father sort of created that whole bravada that he that everybody came to know him so well in. And, um, and he won the Tony Award for it, you know. So, And I've done other roles of his before, but this was the first, and it's it's quite nostalgic for me and emotional and and wonderful and my whole plan is to sort of you know channel jack <laughs> cassidy i know i know <laughs> he's here uh yeah that's my plan i'm using him as the template uh for stephen kadai when you say that you really see your father in that role and you <laughs> how you portray it but just as you spoke of him you could see the the um, your eyes sparkle and the smile that your dad carried you're so similar in your traits and, and but he won a Tony, as you mentioned. Did that put special pressure on you to really do this role and do it right? Um, yes. I mean, I, I like I said, I'm I'm using him as as the back as the backdrop for it. But I, but you know, I just I want to do. It's my homage to my dad, and I, I want to do it justice. And uh, and I think um, I think this production and the people in it. It's a terrific cast, and the Wick Theater is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you've been there, yes. but it is gorgeous, and. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be here for over a month. We uh, we start performances on November 24th, and we open officially on November 25th, and we're and we're here for that time. And everybody has a chance to see a wonderful holiday show as well. She loves me. You know, they bring in Christmas in it, which is great. It really is a fun show, and it's been made into a movie. I mean, it's kind of a, a very special uh, show that's been transformed into the theater yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was written by mm -hmm. Jerry Bach and Sheldon Harnick, who wrote Fiddler on the Roof. Mm -hmm. But this is the real little gem, and it's the show that when, when people see, they go, oh, my God, they wrote that, too? It's a, it's a beautiful show, beautiful music. All right, we talked about your dad, Jack Cassidy, but your mom, Shirley Jones. You've got she brother is. Cassidy. You know, we know your brothers. <laughs> uh, did you have the acting bug? Was it in your blood, or did you think, you know what, everybody else is doing this, maybe I ought to give it a whirl? Well, it was definitely in the blood. <laughs> yes, there's no question about that. I, um, I broke my collarbone in my senior year in, in, in high school in football, and I was destined to be an NFL quarterback. Well, in the interim of healing, I found out that the drama department was doing The Music Man. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, I'm a shoo-in for Harold Hill. Mom played Mary in the Librarian in the movie. Well, I went in and I auditioned with my hat and my cane, and I got cast as salesman number five. But I got I got uh, it bit, yeah. I got bit by the theater bug, and I've been doing it ever since, and had the uh, honor of working with my mother now for the last 20 years. Well, you know, you've talked about your family, and it's so important to you. And that's from talking to you before we did the interview. Your family is really important to you, and you're doing another little side, not little, but another uh, I would say a sideshow cabaret at the Wick that really is not to be missed. I mean, both both performances should be seen. Yeah, thank you. On December 12th, I'm doing uh, the the title of the show is just another family tree and it literally is stories and and songs about growing up in this show business family where every single person around the dinner table is in show business but we're a family just like every other family with you know all the different sort of idiosyncrasies that go along with family yeah yeah all of them yeah can we talk? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can. So nice to have you here. So oh, nice to have you in South Florida for so for a good long month, from the 24th to Christmas time. Patrick Cassidy, thank you for being here. Thank you. You're welcome back anytime. And, oh, my pleasure. Uh, can't thank wait you. to see you on stage.